Uh, well, I want to congratulate, congratulate you because, my goodness, I didn't know that I was going to need three boxes of Kleenex last night. You know, I thought, I'm above all this. <laughs> you did such a fantastic job. What was it like for you to come on? You know, these girls all knew each other, and, you know, you're, you're the new girl in town, basically. What was it like for you? Uh, I, I definitely was, at the beginning, the new girl in town, but it was really a great pleasure because all of the actresses were so well-prepared, and they knew their characters inside out. So I just was very grateful and thankful that we had all of them because, you know, you you are doing a sequel and it's their characters now a lot older and they're in a different position in their lives so I just wanted to make sure that it, it, it really worked and and I had it all there. What initially drew you to the material? Like had you, I obviously had seen the first film and, and what kind of struck you when you saw that? I loved the first movie and I loved all the books and one thing that I loved about it is I felt that it was relatable to all women mm -hmm. and there are not a lot of movies out there especially in Hollywood that really um, talk to you know us yeah. as women uh, in different way you know that we just had sex in the city which was really great and fantastic but you know now there's this too that really covers a wider demographic younger as well as older yeah. and I think that we can see as women we can reflect ourselves in each of the characters so that's what really drew me to the material and I was such a big fan of the first movie so I, I really wanted to be part of it so when was it a conscious decision to take you know Anne's like there was because this this screenplay is really a combination of book two, three, and four a little bit, I think, right? And so yes. when was that decided that you weren't just going to go to do book two and then possibly think about doing book three and book four? You know, when did, was that decision made? That decision about <coughs> combining book two, three, and four was made, I think, pretty much before I came on. Okay. It was like right after they did the first movie, they had a treatment of mm -hmm. the combination. Then I read all the books, and then we talked about you know, what, where, where would we focus on and what would work better for each character. Yeah, and, it, I, and I think it's wonderful because, you know, like you say, these girls are older um, and in their real lives things have changed yeah, dramatically for the four of them in terms of their successes and things. So it must have been great to have them at this age kind of playing girls that are close to who they really are, I think. Was that very helpful? I think it is helpful for actresses to play close to their age. And, um, you know, they really can relate to those characters. And as all the actors have progressed in their lives, so have the characters. And we just really wanted to make sure that it rang true to, um, you know, a woman's everyday experience. Yeah. And that was really important to me because especially with other movies, you know, sometimes we have a lot of fantasy and fantastical situations and films. And I just really wanted to stay away from that and just go to really the nuts and bolts of, you know, everyday life and what we have to deal with. Yeah. What impressed you when you started working with the four of them? Because it's pretty amazing that you get four girls like this who really do have good chemistry, not only on screen, but off screen. They're friends, you know? So it must have been wonderful to have that. I was really impressed because they knew <laughs> their characters inside out and they brought a lot to the table. You know, a lot of times, you know, you work with people and, and they don't have much to give mm. and they had a lot to give and, um, you know, you could just roll the cameras and, you know, they really lit up the screen. So that was really what was so special. And they were so prepared and, and, and quick and really helped the process. Was there any particular scene that you recall that they, you know, maybe wasn't in the script or something that they gave input into doing? Absolutely. I mean, they, you know, all the girls gave input a lot just to make, make it clear on their characters, and that was, uh, you know, really important. But one of the scenes was when they jump off this cliff in Santorini. I mean, that was entirely their idea, and, uh, you know, they saw some guys do it, and they came the next morning and told me, say, hey, we want to jump off a cliff. That's one of the activities. And I'm like, what? Can't we do something a little more tamer? But... You know, when I saw the cliff area and then really thought about the symbolic meaning yes. of them being together, and then just it works well, and I won't give it away, in the yeah. placement of where it happens in the movie, so. Relationships are obviously so important, especially, you know, good girlfriend experiences and having and keeping your, your girlfriends forever. I mean, ha it's hard. It's a hard thing to do, and in this film, you know, it shows that, yeah, you go off on your own, but if you really want to make it work, you make it work. Do you have a relationship like that or girlfriends that you, you know, are close with? And Absolutely. I mean, I have really close friends, and I think what I've realized is throughout the years, you change, yeah. and sometimes you grow apart for a certain period, and then you just get clo closer than ever. And I think that's what's so relatable about this is because we all know that we can't live life 
happily without friendship. Yeah. You know, you, you, it's, this is a um, collaborative universe and not a solo place. Absolutely. You need someone to bounce things off of, that's for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, what ultimately challenged you working on this film? Was it going on location or being in New York or, you know? I think the challenge of working on, on a film is really being able to stay true to the franchise, mm. yet at the same time making sure that it remains authentic. And, uh, you know, we had four storylines to juggle. Yeah. And to make sure that they all balanced each other out. And there were different journeys, but they were all their own journeys. So that was the challenge. And, yeah, it's a tough life, you know, when you get to shoot uh, scenes in Santorini. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, unlike what people think, when you're filmmaking, know. you know, it's like you wish you were on the, the sand sipping, you know, mojito, but you can't. You have to be working. <laughs> or just eating Greek salad. This, I'd be happy that way. Yeah, we were, you know, we had a great time. Um, the, the symbol of the pants, I always loved that because, you know, having one pair of pants that fits each girl, and you know, of course, in real life, we all know that's not going to happen. But I, I love that. But do you have a favorite pair of pants that you, you know, just can't live without? Absolutely, <laughs> I have a favorite pair of pants that I think makes me feel and look better. When I ask my friends, they're like, "Well, it looks the same." You know, it's like, great, okay. <laughs> But, you know, I think we all have those things. But it's great to have one thing that everybody shares. Yeah, that's you know? for sure. You have started your career doing, you know, so many amazing videos. I can't believe the amount of people that you've worked with. Like, you must pinch yourself some days going, I can't believe I work with Mariah. And all. You know, did you find that that experience doing the video was, you know, very important to your directorial debut? I think coming through the music video background has been very important for me and really has has helped a lot of different things because you know when you work in music videos and with artists uh, you know like Mariah or Sting or, or Prince that you work closely with them and one thing that I've learned from everybody is ha being a perfectionist and I think that just it just challenges yourself and makes you want to be the best at what you do yeah. and that's what I've learned well you've done a terrific job and uh, I look forward to your your next thing you're going to give us. Thank you. <laughs> Stop. Very good. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.